Aloha, starseeds and lightworkers. This is your general reading for August 2020. This includes the Lionsgate portal. You can also go to the Lionsgate portal, pick a card reading on my channel if you would like a more detailed and personal reading. This is general reading for all my starseeds. Aloha, starseeds and lightworkers. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your energies and reading for August 2020. This will include um, the energies of the Lionsgate that we just had yesterday as well. If you'd like a separate reading for the Lionsgate portal, I did do a pick a card reading. You're welcome to um, look at that one as well. Um, please do like, share, subscribe. That helps my channel to continue to grow so I can make videos for you um, more consistently. Okay, and here we go. We're going to use the Mana Cards deck, so a little Hawaiian action today for my sweet star seeds. And we're just going to do an overarching energy that signifies the star seeds and light workers and what does spirit want to tell us. And then we'll look at the Beyond Lemuria cards and we'll look at um, the transmissions from your soul cards. One more of these, the guys. Yeah. All right. All right. We got Pua. Okay. So Pua, in this context, <laughs> is a pua is a flower okay my penny's mother her name is pua my penny dog so we have pua and penny and so this is great you guys um because it's advancement this is the essence of advance because notice how he's throwing his um fishing spear okay and so um this is advancement so new possibilities are opening Gather your resources, uh, direct your focus, and go forward. Move towards your goal with clear intentions, works, and actions. Go for it. Okay. So, for my star seeds and light workers, month of August, and this Lionsgate portal is saying, go for it. Go for your dreams. Let your light shine, um, because the flowering is occurring right now. Okay. So this is the time to advance. This is the time to allow yourself to flower and blossom and move forward in the light. Some of you have new creations that you're bringing to the world. Some of you um, might do readings like me on YouTube. Some of you are um, moving forward um, in new downloads of, of technology, okay? Okay, you guys. So we got, um, and I have to look sometimes at these cards because they're relatively new to me. So if I haven't seen one before. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Okay, we have Manifesta. Sowing the seeds of your dreams, okay? Bringing that which you have dreamed into the earth and plane. <clears throat> We're really counting on you for this. So this is... Um, a really strong energy. You have gotten this advancement and manifestation twice, you guys. So it's very important that you bring your um, passions and creativity to the forefront in the month of August. It's very important that you share those with the world and that that you have desired is manifesting. For some of you, I feel like you're manifesting the dreams of your heart. This may be a business that you wanted to open. This may be a loving soulmate and partner or twin flame, whatever you call that energy. Um, it might be that coming in for you. It may be um, the creativity of your art, okay? Um, it may be the creativity of the technology that you have to bring to the world, whether that be physical or metaphysical, okay? Next, you got luminescence, okay? This is self-love, the light that radiates from our hearts, light shining in the darkness, heart-centered living, removing your heart armor, accepting your shadows as the flip side of your strengths, a vulnerable, wide-open heart, authentic, heartfelt needs. 
okay? And this last one that you got is home. This is home of the heart. This is connecting with your star seed home. Okay, when I get this card, I know that I'm dealing with um, star seeds. So those of you who are on earth to help Mama Earth with her transition um, into the higher dimensional frequencies, into the higher um, grid, some of you are here to anchor light codes, whether you know it or not, you're here to do that, okay? Just by you being alive, you're already doing your job. Um, just by you being alive and breathing the air, you're already sending out the codes. Anything else that you manage to manifest or make or bring to the world, that's a bonus, okay? <laughs> it's a bonus. Just by you being alive, you are enough and you are doing enough. And I feel like um, that's coming through really strongly because that just took over. I kind of want to cry because some of you I feel like have been really wanting to go back home to the home planet, really wanting to go back home to your um, own energies, not even knowing where that is, not feeling like you fit or belong. And Spirit saying, you belong just by you being alive, you are enough. Just by you being alive, you are um, you are doing the most, okay? So um, you're already anchoring the codes, you're already doing the work. And so this self-love is imperative, okay? If that means that you need to slow down, then slow down. If that means that you need to, um, you know, work a little harder, work a little harder, okay? Your intuition and your soul's calling is going to know what to do, okay? You're going to be coming back home, um, ho and I feel like you'll be, because you're blossoming, you'll also be calling in your soul tribe, because you have this home, and underneath home is light beings. So there are light beings that are intending to help you right now. They're intending to help you awaken to new levels within your own um within your own self within your own way okay so um this is spending some time connecting with the light beings of your home planet okay they're also saying to create space this luminescence that comes underneath luminescence so create space create space within yourself for self-love for self-care okay Create space within yourself for um, your heart to open, to release the old programs, to release the old ways of being, because you're at manifestation now. So those of you who have been intending to manifest your dreams and desires, you're there now. Now is the blossoming. Now in the month of August is the time where you're coming home to yourself and you're really bringing forward these light codes and manifestations that you've wanted. We have divine animals, and that also, look, it's um, Leo, so uh, perfect for August, it's the Lion's Gate. It's saying that the divine animals, our animal friends that have manifested into being are there to support us, and also these are our spirit animals, the ones that are here to help us learn, okay? And this is looking, if you look at how this energy is moving right here, okay, you have divine animals and light being, and create the space for them to enter into your existence, enter into your consciousness, so that you can flower, so that you can advance, okay? You're manifesting at a magnificent speed right now. Um, things that you have been desiring for many, many years, some of you many, many lifetimes, is now finally coming into existence. It's now finally coming into um, that blossoming period. It's coming into manifestation on the earth and plane. The things that you have been feeling, um, for some of you, you have been having um, relationships in the astral plane and downloads, and um, you have this wonderful heart um, technology and creativity that you've been wanting to bring to the world, and now is the time. It's finally, after years and years of the dream, it's finally manifesting, okay? And you got two things here. You have um, advice from spirit. You have answer the call, okay? For this blossoming, answer the call. You've created the space, and we have the crumbling. What are you clinging to, okay? This is over here with... Um, oh, with the self-love, OK? 
okay, what are you clinging to? Who are you clinging to? What old relationships, what old things have you been holding on to? Because in order to manifest what is, um, is opening for you in this particular time frame, in this timeline, you have jumped timelines, okay? And so what is manifesting is, um, requires a release of this old energy. And we have the mother card, okay, the star mother. And so how can you mother yourself? Some of you have lost your physical mothers. Some of you have, um, you know, that inner child within you is the self-love and self-care. So during the month of August, pay attention to how you can mother yourself. Spend some time journaling because these light beings in your starseed family are wanting to come through and speak with you. They're wanting to come through and give you inspiration and um, move you forward. Create the space within yourself. Create the space by allowing that which is not you, that which is from an old timeline to simply dissolve. It doesn't have to be a drama to let go. You know, um, it can be really simple as allowing the energy to dissolve and releasing it from the physical body, okay? And so, um, wonderful, you guys, for all my star seeds and light workers, I'm so happy for you. This is really beautiful. So spend time with your beloved animals, spend time in meditation, however you do that, active or um, more of a no thought, you know, focused um, meditation. Any meditation is a good meditation, but spend some time speaking with the light beings from your home planet for, um, you know, spend some time finding out that part of your purpose that's manifesting now on this timeline. And remember that just by you being alive, you're already blossoming. You plant a tree, you've been planted here on earth as a being, okay? And it grows and it blossoms. And we go through different levels of death and rebirth. We go through different levels of um, the natural process because we have a body vehicle but understand that you are manifesting in real earth time the desires of your heart the desires of your soul that part of your purpose the cross where you have um, entered into the earth plane that you were born on you're here opening and blossoming that and bringing it forward so thank you guys so much this is a beautiful time in august beautiful time the sun is shining on you your heart is opening so please answer the call allow the crumbling of the old to happen and let that go mother yourself just like you would care and nurture for a beautiful flowering plant um, when it's blossoming and when it isn't it still gets watered it still gets mothered it still gets nurtured okay so nurture yourself Give to yourself, be with the Aina. The Aina is the, um, the earth, um, the nature, okay? So be one with the earth. You are blossoming, you are advancing. I know it has felt for a time that you've been stuck in a rut and stuck in the same um, energy. This is going to be a turnaround of the energy. It's going to be a um, complete 180. These light beings are helping you so that you can um, manifest into uh, the material plane. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. I do so much appreciate you. Please leave me a comment. I love reading the comments. So if you have a moment and uh, want to let me know your experience, I would really like that. So um, until next time, aloha.